Like I said earlier, you could have been anywhere and you're here tonight, and that means a lot to us. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a song off of our EP. It's called Daylight Savings, and it's about daylight savings time. The 
message as you send a comforting I wake up early hoping I might see Good morning How are you? But I know that I'm dreaming And I don't think you see me There's nothing more than someone new Just someone new just met I don't see the danger of 
that there's more light and how our life is more than one painful night left alone in the dark but these scars these scars have left a mark so huge that when i look at my arm all i can think of is you that night left baggage so heavy i don't think my wrist could handle the weight and so i lay here and i know that it's late but at this rate what do i do think of is you and how you're supposed to come see my band, how you were supposed to go to Disneyland with me, how you're going to, all these wonderful memories you were supposed to share, but nowadays I'm just wishing that I hear the doorbell ring, and when I pull the door open, you'd be there. And I know that won't happen. I sometimes wonder if there was more I could have done back then. My mind likes to try to time travel time and time again and again. I hear you only this time. It's more than a ringtone. And sometimes when I'm alone, I look at your picture on my phone and I hear you say that one day, Remy, you and I will be loved the way that we deserve. I just thought my heart was on reserve for you. Nowadays, I'm wishing I could just get a phone call from you. But I know that won't happen. It's kind of heavy, but it's been a few years. 2018, my first show was here at Golden Light, and I played with Native Crowds. It wasn't this band, but it was, it was, it was huge. It was a big deal for me, and I finally had my own band. And then about two weeks after that show, that poem I wrote, I wrote uh, that poem I just said, it was about this girl that I met. She was in that corner right there, sitting there watching the show with me. She was watching my first show, and that about two weeks later, she and I get attacked, and we lose her, and I lose use of my right arm, and, my, and I get uh, this huge injury in my back. I spent about two weeks in the hospital. We lose my friend, and I don't know what to do about that, so I spend a year rehabbing, trying to figure shit out. When I met Julianne, she changed my life. I didn't want to be here. I had no direction, and she gave me all of that. She actually just motivated that in and of myself, and um, I started to decide to stay. I didn't want to stay until I met her, and she convinced me that there are so many beautiful things out there to experience, even though things seem bleak right now. We learned that the troubles we're going through are simply tunnels. They're not caves with this wall that we get stuck in, but they're a thing that we go through. And so she and I walked through tunnels together, and she saved my life. She made me want to stay here, and I don't know. There might be someone in here who needs to hear this. I don't know. It's been a crazy night, but if I can just beg one thing of you. I know we've been having a good time, and then it got kind of heavy, and then I promise you it won't be heavy after this. I just need to say this. If you're feeling like things seem bleak and things are difficult right now, things have sucked for the last year and a half, please stick around. I don't know if you felt this, but 
If I could ask you, please stay and do your best to help other people stay because I promise you, whatever it is you're dealing with right now, there are people down the road that you will meet that are going to help pull you through it. that are going to love you if you haven't found them yet. I promise you, you will. I don't know where they're at. I don't know when they'll show up, but they're there. If I hadn't have waited long enough, I wouldn't have met Julie and Julie changed my life. She gave me a reason to stick around. And now there's this breath in my lungs that isn't just mine, it's hers. And so we keep doing this thing. I should be dead, but here the fuck I am playing guitar with my friends. I'm very grateful for that. I had to learn a bunch of new shit, but here we are. And I do that for her, and I do that for you.